Well, do you remember where you were at this time last year? That's right. It's been exactly one year since the earthquake centered in Mineral, Virginia, rocked the East Coast. To commemorate the anniversary, government officials discussed both the lingering effects of the earthquake and the progress in rebuilding and recovery. It was just before 2 p.m. a year ago that the ground shook up and down the East Coast, sending thousands onto the street. The lingering effects of that August 23rd earthquake are still being studied today. Here at the Washington Monument, it's the pyramid at the top that suffered the most damage during last year's earthquake. Now the damage has caused the Washington Monument to be shut down until 2014 until repairs are completed. The Washington Monument seismic assessment examined the seismic vulnerability of the structure within a 2,475 year period, what's known as maximum considered earthquake. Analysis included detailed computer models and showed that potential 2,475 year events did not, did not present a concern for structural collapse and that supporting soils are indeed adequate to withstand an MCE event. The U.S. Geological Survey recently attributed the wastewater used in the oil and gas fracking process as contributing to several earthquakes. But the agency says fracking was not the cause of last year's earthquake centered in Mineral, Virginia. There have been small earthquakes elsewhere in the country, for example, Arkansas, Colorado, that have been connected to wastewater injection. But that's a, a separate issue to the mineral earthquake. Just outside of the monument this morning, officials updated the press on the cost of repairs and the need to educate the public on how to respond when an earthquake strikes. The best thing to do in an earthquake is to stay where you are, take cover under a table, if possible, something sturdy, Cover, cover up, cover your, hold, cover your head, and hold on until the shaking stops. But the last thing you should do is evacuate a building. More people are injured by falling debris and falling glass than anything else. And officials are asking residents to register for the October 18th Great Southeast Shakeout. That's when thousands will participate in an earthquake drill to drop, cover, and hold on. And for more information on earthquakes and emergency preparedness, you can log on to QRCUSEC.org.